And now for the moment you've been waiting for, let's hit this green run button. It will prompt us to choose a device. Without a physical device, we can test the app using the emulator that comes with the Android SDK. An Android virtual device should have already been created for you automatically when you set up Android Studio. So you can go ahead and click OK. While the emulator is booting up, I want to point out that if you ever want to modify your emulated devices, you can click on this button with the purple device and the Android and open up the AVD Manager to manage your Android virtual devices. It lists out your existing devices and you can always create another virtual device. You can select the category of device and then a specific device. Then you choose which platform version it should be running on and this is the only one that's available on this computer now. So Lollipop is good and we choose the Google APIs target because it will include some Google services already pre-installed on the emulator. You can choose next. There's a couple more options and settings that you can modify. For example, if you want um, an SD card or a camera, um, you can change those here. And then you can go ahead and click Finish. And it will create a new AVD for you.